guys, welcome back to Snobby Beer Reviews, and I've got a really exciting beer. This is Deschutes the Abyss, and uh, this, if you know anything about beer, you'll know about this beer. <laughs> it's regarded as one of the best Imperial Stouts out. This is the 2010 bottle. Uh, one third of it is aged in oak and oak bourbon barrels, and it has licorice and molasses in it. So this is, this is quite a beer. World renowned. I've been sitting on this for almost a year, waiting to crack it open, and this is kind of a late birthday gift to myself, so let's just dive right in. Alright, for the appearance, it's called the Abyss. What do you expect? It's very dark, very, very viscous. Uh, it poured a beautiful kind of like mocha colored head. Uh, you know, it's maybe about two fingers. The head has since dissipated. Uh, it's kind of just a sliver now, but I mean, there is absolutely no light coming through. This is, this looks like an abyss of a beer. All right, the aroma on this is fantastic. It's got tons of chocolate, tons of, uh, you know, bitter dark chocolate, tons of roasted characters. Um, a little bit of the oak and the bourbon comes through, but not not nearly as as much as other, you know, beers that are aged in bourbon barrels. Licorice coming out. I mean, this is just a big, giant smelling beer. I would say the biggest things are licorice and chocolate. Uh, I mean, it smell. It's got all the characteristic stout smells. Very balanced smelling, but very very intense smelling. I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. All right, down to the good part, the taste. The taste of this is very, very smooth, balanced. There's a big amount of licorice. There's a big amount of molasses. There's a big amount of chocolate. It's got uh, a little bit of like a slight coffee flavor, um, a little bit of a oakiness kind of thing, some earthy character. I mean, <laughs> this beer's got a whole bunch of stuff going on. A thing to note about this, for 11%, the alcohol is very, very well hidden. Alright, the mouthfeel for the Abyss, it's pretty thick. I mean, it's not... A beer called the Abyss, you would expect it to be a big, giant, chewy beer, which it is. However, it's very, very drinkable. There's not much carbonation to speak of, but... You know, it's not a struggle to drink this beer whatsoever. Um, very smooth, very just excellent, excellent mouthfeel. The score for the 2010 vintage of The Abyss, Drink at the End of 2011. I gotta go with a 5 out of 5 on this one. I mean, it's probably no surprise to anybody who's had this beer. I mean, there, it, there's not much you can say about it that hasn't been already said. Very balanced. This is probably one of the most balanced Imperial Stouts. I mean, it's not overly sweet, not overly bitter, it's not overly oaky, it's not overly licorice-y. I mean, everything just comes together magnificently. That wraps it up for the 2010 batch of Deschutes the Abyss. Uh, the 2011 batch just came out, so do what you gotta do to get it. I mean, trade for it, go to the store, do what you gotta do. You're going to want to try this beer. Uh, like I said, this is one of the most balanced, if not the most balanced, Imperial Stouts that I've had. So, you guys know what to do. Grab a beer. Hopefully it's a, one of the Abysses, but grab a beer, leave me a comment. I'll see you next time. Cheers.